If you open Twitter, literally everywhere there is AI apps, especially AI avatar apps and professional photo studio quality apps, headshot apps and whatnot. Now, obviously it's great to just use these, but do you wanna learn how to build one using no code tools? Well, this is the right place then. This is a series in which we will cover how you can build a avatar AI app using your own custom model built with Replicate Dream Booth and then use that model to generate images. This series consists of three parts. In this video, you'll get set up with the various tools you need. In the second part, you will start training your custom AI avatar model using your own images. And in the third part, you'll start generating images using this custom model that you just created. All right, without further delay, let's get right into it. You need to just set up two tools. First, it's Roy. Roy is a low-code backend platform that lets you build your backend functionality and create database and workflows on cloud functions as easy as using spreadsheets. First, create a Roy account from roy.io and get set up with a workspace and a project. Step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up your Roy account, workspace and project is linked in this video. Once you connect to your project, you are able to create a table using the avatar trainer template that is available here. When you click use this template, if you have not already set up cloud functions, this will ask you to set that up. What Cloud Functions does is allows you ability to build more powerful apps with backend functionality. All that you need to do is follow a bunch of step-by-step -step instructions to get this set up. You would need to enable billing in your own GCP Firebase project, and you can upgrade that very easily by clicking Upgrade and selecting the Blaze plan. I already have a billing setup, so I'll just pick that and give it some limit and purchase this is not going to immediately charge you anything firebase has a generous free tier so you will most likely not run into any billing at all all right so let's go back to it and click verify and that's it you should be set up with a roi run instance in your firebase project you can also pick which region you want this to be deployed at let's pick the us central one with no CO2. And this and this step usually takes a couple of minutes. So let's come back to it. Okay, so here it is deployed. So let's continue on. There you go. These are all the functionality that is now available to you that you have set up for you. Okay, let's get back to our project now. Click use this template and follow a bunch of step-by-step -step instructions get to get you set up. Let's give this table an ID. You can rename the table if you would like. And let's create the table. Okay, so the next step, you need to create a replicate account. If you do not have one, it's super easy to create. And once you create the account, you can copy over the key from using this link and add it to your own Google Cloud Secret Manager. So for example, I can go in here. I copy over the replicate API key from my replicate account. I give it a name and enter the secret value. That's it. Now going back to your account, you can click refresh and there you go. You see the replicate key here and this API key is stored securely on your own Google Cloud projects. All right, let's set the secret and click next. Then you need to enable the Google Vision API. We use this API for the purpose of preparing the images for centering them zooming in on the face so that you have a better model generated via Dreambo. all right let's go to google cloud api select your project and if it's not already enabled you can click enable here we have already enabled this so we can go back and click next okay in this step we need to publish webhooks these webhooks are the ones which listen to your replicate account and figure out if your ai model is ready once you click train so let's publish that. And then when we continue, we'll get to the step where you deploy a couple of pre-built cloud functions. These are for detecting the face using the Google Vision API, then creating the zip file that compresses all the images into one file. And then finally to 
train the model using the processed images. So let's go ahead and click deploy functions. It takes a couple of minutes and we'll come back to it. Okay, so it's now deployed and we can continue on. Great, you're done with your step one of getting all the tools set up and you're ready to start training your model. That will be covered in the part two of this series. So see you in the next one.